Good morning, folks. We've got a couple interesting items to hit today. One on the green Saharan periods, one on space weather impact to the top of the atmosphere. We'll look at a geomagnetic spike, a hurricane update, an update on Morocco. But we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star where it's been another quiet stretch on the sun. No significant flares, only minor filament activity. There is a large sunspot group facing Earth, but it has been extremely shy so far. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are calm. And so we go to Northwest Africa. Bit of bad news here is the death toll in the Moroccan earthquake is now up over 2,000 with just as many injured. Going to be a long road to recovery there, and they still need our prayers. Hurricane Lee is still lumbering across the Atlantic, still forecast to bend northward, still with the potential of a major hurricane. So we are hopeful its forecast track holds, and it pretty much misses everything. We have discussed the green Saharan periods before, the wettest times bringing vegetation and lakes to what is now a desert. Solid piece here on how it's happened many, many times in history. Those interested in the topic will like that one. We've got a great paper here on joule heating by charged particles from the magnetic field during solar storms and how there is a significantly increased impact to the ionosphere. It's one of the key ways that solar storms impact the weather over short time scales via that Joule Heating's excitement of the global electric circuit. Lastly today, folks, the Levantine geomagnetic spike. We have gone over how every 12,000 years there is a geomagnetic excursion and weakening of the field. It happens to a lesser degree on the 6,000-year half cycle, last one about 6,000 years ago. But we've done less coverage on the spikes upward in strength in between, which should peak around the 3,000-year mark right in the middle of those 6,000-year cycles. It's exactly what's happened with the super concentration over the old world at that time. Whether it is the weak points or the strong points, they do all seem to hit the cycle timing as well and fortify our awareness of what's happening now on the decline once again. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more about our magnetic situation with the links in the description box below the video. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.